Beneath the surface of our oceans lies a vast and mostly unexplored world. As we descend further, sunlight fades, pressure increases, and temperatures drop. Eventually, we reach a place where no light ever reaches. A place so extreme, we once believed nothing could live there. But life has adapted in extraordinary ways. In the deep sea, creatures exist that seem almost alien. And lately, some of these creatures, ones that usually stay thousands of meters below, are appearing near the surface. They are being found on beaches, caught in fishing nets, or washing up lifeless on shores around the world. What's causing this sudden emergence? Why are deep sea creatures rising? Welcome to Think of It, and today we're taking a deep dive into the mysterious world beneath our oceans to understand what's coming up from the dark. The ocean is divided into zones based on how deep and how dark they are. The uppermost layer is the epipelagic zone, also known as the sunlight zone. It extends about 200 meters deep. This is where most sea life lives, fish, corals, plankton, and nearly all marine plants. Below that is the mesopelagic zone, or twilight zone. Light still penetrates here but just barely. As we go deeper, we reach the batipelagic zone or midnight zone where no sunlight reaches at all. Pressure here can exceed a thousand times what we experience at the surface. Then comes the abyssopelagic zone, an even darker, colder region covering much of the seafloor. And finally, the deepest parts, the Hadar zone, found in trenches like the Mariana Trench, nearly 11 kilometers below sea level. These are not places humans visit casually. Even with modern technology, we've explored less than 5% of our oceans and much less of the deep. Life in the deep sea is not just strange, it's a masterclass in adaptation. Despite crushing pressure, freezing temperatures, and the total absence of sunlight, life not only survives, it thrives. But what exists here looks nothing like the fish or marine animals we're used to seeing near the surface. Like the angler fish, for example. It's become the face of deep sea horror for good reason. It lurks in the darkness with a glowing lure, actually a piece of its own flesh, dangling from its forehead. That light is produced by bacteria and used to attract prey. The fish stays perfectly still, conserving energy until something swims close enough to strike. It doesn't hunt, it waits, with patience honed by evolution. Then there's the parallel fish, one of the most otherworldly creatures ever discovered. Its head is completely transparent and its tubular eyes are actually located inside its skull. They rotate upward, allowing it to see through the top of its head and spot prey silhouetted above, all while keeping its body hidden in darkness. The vampire squid is another marvel. Its name might sound menacing, but it doesn't feed on blood. Instead, it floats slowly through the water, using almost no energy. When threatened, it flashes glowing organs, releases a cloud of bioluminescent mucus, and escapes before the predator even knows what happened. It thrives in low oxygen zones where few others can survive. Now imagine a creature with a mouth so large it can swallow prey larger than itself. That's the gulparil. Its balloon-like jaw unhinges to create a massive vacuum effect. Essential in a world where food is rare and meals can be days or weeks apart. The fringe shark is often described as a living fossil. It's barely changed in 80 million years. With a long E-like body and rows of curved needle shark teeth, it swims like something from ancient seas. Its slow, slithery movements only add to the mythic aura surrounding it. And these are just a few. 
There's the giant isopod, a deep sea scavenger that looks like an armored pill bug the size of a dinner plate. It survives by feeding on decaying matter that falls from above. The fang toothed fish lives up to its name. It has the largest teeth, relative to body size, of any known fish. It's so fierce looking that it seems unreal, yet it's real and very much alive in the ocean's midnight zones. And then there are deep sea jellyfish, some of which don't even have brains. They float through the blackness like ghosts, pulsing softly and glowing with their own light. Thanks to bioluminescence, the natural ability to create light without heat. Most of these animals move slowly. They burn energy carefully and feed sparingly, some going months without eating. Many rely on a phenomenon known as marine snow, a constant rain of tiny particles drifting down from the surface. Dead plankton, fecal matter, microscopic detritus. To us, it's waste. To them, it's survival. So why are these creatures rising to the surface now, after staying hidden for millennia? One major reason is climate change. Rising ocean temperatures are not just affecting the surface. Heat is slowly reaching deeper layers, altering the chemistry and oxygen levels of these ecosystems. Many deep sea animals are extremely sensitive to even small changes. Another factor is deep sea mining and drilling. The deep sea is rich in rare minerals and companies are now sending machines to the ocean floor to harvest them. This process generates noise, vibration and chemical disturbances, forcing some animals to move. Third is sonar and noise pollution from shipping, submarines and seismic testing. Sound travels farther in water than in air and these constant disruptions can disorient or stress deep sea creatures, driving them upwards. Finally, in some cases, deep sea organisms may be carried up unintentionally, caught in thermal upwellings, dragged by fishing nets, or forced out by underwater volcanic activity. The deep sea is one of Earth's last untouched frontiers, silent, ancient and balanced. When its creatures start to rise, it means that balance is being disrupted. What we are seeing might be an early signal, a silent message from the deepest part of our world, one that says something is changing and not for the better. The more we disturb the deep ocean, the more likely we are to lose species we've barely begun to understand. But if we listen, if we learn, Maybe it's not too late. In our next video, we'll uncover the truth behind the submarines that dared to enter the deep sea. Some returned with incredible discoveries, while others vanished without a trace. What really happened during these missions? And why is the deed still such a deadly mystery? Stay with us to explore more hidden truths and untold science. Thanks for watching Think of Aid and don't forget to subscribe.